Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Maria. How are you? Fine, thanks. How about you? Fine. I am sleep. Sleep. Sleepy. Yes. Sleepy. Okay. It's a problem because it's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Silham. Hi. Hi. How do you do? Hello, guys. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Good evening. How are you? Everybody knows it's Friday. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. Sorry. Yes, it's Friday. Friday. Yeah, I know it's Friday. Yeah. Are you excited because it's Friday? You happy? Excited? It's happy, like enthusiastic. I am tired with sleepy. And you're tired and sleepy. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because it's the end of. But do you work tomorrow, Megan? Uh, I don't work tomorrow because I uh, for is class of the Excel, Excel in the seven at twelve o'clock in the morning. From seven a.m. to twelve. Seven online. Online. Please support. Ah. And and do you and do you? <laughs> And do you uh, like how do you feel to be five hours online? Yeah, uh, I rest at 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Um, yes. You have a break, a 10 minute break. Break, break, okay, break 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minute break. So, so fast. And then, and then, so how do you feel to have all the morning? Classes online. Is it like how do you feel? Yes, I am feel. Uh, I feel. With, with good, it's good. <laughs> it's fine don't, because you don't feel I, tired I, I, or bored. No, it's Saturday. I I am Friday. <laughs> Friday. So so Friday. So oh, you're Friday, saying so, free so, day. Friday. <laughs> It's Friday. Because if you say free day, you're talking about the Libre. But if you say Friday, it's uh, Viernes. Okay. And Friday. actually, instead of Friday. saying free day, it's day off. It's un día libre. Day off. Day off. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Friday. Friday, yes. Correct. Friday. Correct. Friday. Okay, okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, welcome, guys, to the class. Thank you for your punctuality. Um, I really appreciate that you are punctual to the class. That is very important. So for you guys that just have uh, like arrived to the class right now, can you please send me the date to the chat? And remember that today we are in another month. Today is another month.
my computer is making a noise, like it's overheated. I don't know what is going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yes, a good job. It's Friday, April 1st, April. April. It's not April, ni April. It's April. 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 Friday, April 1st, 2022. Perfect. Excellent. Now, <laughs> I really appreciate your punctuality, guys, because it's only four of you in the class. It's because it's Friday. Maybe don't want to be. They don't want to be in the class because it's Friday. I know, but this it, it is just this module, guys, because um, it's because of the Holy Week. So that's what why they are doing this. I know it's difficult for some of you to connect to the class on a Friday. Believe me, it's difficult for me <laughs> to connect to a class on a Friday because usually. Friday afternoons are my only time off, my only free time, because I have to work on Saturdays, Sundays, and then all the days of the week. So Fridays are my, like my, my half day off, because I only work in the morning, but now I have to work in the afternoon and also at night. So it's a little bit, <sighs> I know I have to do this. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. So yeah, I understand how you feel. And I understand sometimes you don't want to come to the class, but this is just a little bit of an effort that we're making for this days. But, but, but the night to, to 10, do you know, you know how a class? No, yeah. I don't. No, I, mm, mm, I don't have classes any day from, one, from nine to 10 because I have to wake up really early in the morning to go to my other job. So they offer me, I, uh, yeah, they offer me a group from nine to 10, but I was like, no, I don't want to do it because then I'm going to be really, really, really tired. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I don't do it. Anyways, uh, we, we will only have to do this uh, Friday 1st, that is today, next Friday, that is the 8th. Then we're going to have a break all the Holy Week. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do the Friday 22nd. And then we finish by April 27th. OK, so basically it's only it's only three Fridays, guys. It's only three Fridays and this Friday and two more Fridays. And that's it. And actually, it's it's a good thing because we're going to be finishing the module fast. It's going to be fast, the, the module. So. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Because uh, the, the, the theme of the past class and piece of cake, oh, okay. search, search internet and then find a, 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 a sentence is can't complain. When, oh, yeah. When you, when you are, when you ask, how do you do? How do you can't complain? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to know the meaning? Eh, sí. No yeah. puedo estar, no puedo estar mejor. No, no like, no, no puedo estar mejor. Es, mejor. Eh, no me quejo. Uh -huh. That's what it means, like, podría estar mejor, pero podría estar peor. No me quejo. Yeah, that's what en it means. En El Salvador, yeah. como pasando. Por ahí. Right. <laughs> like like every single day but, in the life of a correct, but it's correct say can't complain yeah that's actually one of the idioms that i'm going to teach you yeah the, well but you know what already is can't complain you know like when we have idioms like this one and well that's not an idiom that's more like a useful phrase can't complain uh, i always tell my students if you use phrases, like phrases that are already made in idioms, you're gonna sound a little bit more natural because it's really awkward and weird. I don't like it when people are like, hello, how are you? I'm good and you, very good, thank you. Thank you, you too, bye, bye. It's like, 
nah, nobody speaks like that. Imagine that conversation, but in Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú cómo estás? Bien, muchas gracias. Bueno, está bien, adiós. Nobody talks like that. Nobody in the world. Like, no, like even if they are little kids, they don't speak like that. So it's better if you say, hey, what's up? Like, what's up, right? Like the application, the app. Hey, what's up? Mm, nothing. What about you? What about you? Meh, can't complain. And how is your job? For example, piece of cake. You see, that's a conversation that we will have in Spanish, right? It's different. And the, yeah, that's why I don't like a student saying like, hello, my name is like, no, don't, don't be like that because people in English, they don't speak like that. First of all, they don't say, hello, my name is Diana Sayas. They will say, hey, I'm Diana Sayas. Like I'm like that, short, simple. They are really simple when speaking. So that's why I wanna show you the, 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 the idioms and the useful phrases because you are pre-advanced. You're about to be advanced. And I don't want you in advance speaking like, hello, my name is Miguel and I am 20, uh, 30 years old. I live in, no, I don't want you speaking like that. You know, I want you speaking more fluently. Like you sound more natural when speaking because there, here's the thing. The first thing that will make you speak like a robot is you thinking in Spanish, translating in your mind, and then speaking in English. That's a problem because then you're going to speak like, yeah, I am going to speak like this, like that, no, like this. You're going to be translating in your mind. It shows, it shows that you're translating here. And sometimes it's very difficult to turn off that switch, but you're gonna learn to do it. I learned it when I went to the United States and I lived there for about a year. So that's how I changed that. But there are other ways to change that if you cannot go to the United States and live one year there, but there are other ways to change it. So basically try to speak, try to, speak to yourself in English. For example, the two hour drive that I, when I go to San Salvador every weekend and when I come back home on, on Sunday, I'm, sometimes I take my time and start speaking to myself in English. That's what I do. Because then I'm speaking in English and thinking in English, not only when I'm speaking to a person, right? And try to watch movies, series, or listen to music in English. So you start understanding everything in English. The big problem is guys, that here in the class, for example, you only have one hour and one hour is not enough to learn a second language. The thing is that if you practice by yourself, that's how you're gonna learn a second language, not uh, just only one hour a day and five days of the week or four days of the week. That's not gonna be helpful, not at all. So, yeah, I will say that something you have to do is to try to think more in English. Because when we are learning Spanish, like that as a first language, our moms are not like, diga pacha, just one time, right? They are like, mama, diga mama, mama, diga mama, mama. Even they start saying that all the day, all the day, all the days. Diga mama, diga mama, diga mama. And then the little kid says, papa. Right, <laughs> that's what happens. But yeah, because repetition, repetition is a key, guys. So I will say that that will be something good for you and try to record yourselves. That's something else you have to do. And then listen to yourselves because when we're speaking, we are like, yeah, I can speak English. I sound very native and uh, yeah, my accent is really good. But then when you listen to yourself, you're like, Híjole, yes, I, yeah. I had that mistake, it's something, yeah. Even for me, even for me when I'm speaking in English, some, sometimes I have those things. And well, another thing that I have to tell you is, well, I'm sorry that I'm speaking a lot, but I'm giving you advices. Uh, for example, have you ever listened to Sofia Vergara? Yes. Right? Sofia Vergara has a strong accent. 
really, really Latina strong accent. And actually that's because they give her the roles in the movies and the series because of that accent. They need a person with that accent. But here is the thing. There's a difference between accent and pronunciation. Because my pronunciation can be bad, even though my accent sounds like natural, but it's better to have an accent with good pronunciation. Because accents, we have different accents. Even in El Salvador, we have different accents, okay? For example, people that live in the cities have an accent. People who live in the rural areas have other accents. And so it changes. Even from here in Salvador and then Guatemala, it's different accent. Honduras is very similar to El Salvador, very similar. What I do, I am watching. Yeah, yeah, that's good. English, yeah, that's also what I do. Because sometimes I don't know how to write the word. So that's why I watch it with subtitles in English. But please don't watch series with subtitles in Spanish. It's like, eh, it doesn't work. So you will be reading and not paying attention. You will be reading, not paying attention here. So it doesn't work that way. Um, and yes, just try to do that and it will be fine. You have a good level right now. And it's just a, a matter of practice and then everything is gonna be fine. I believe that you're gonna be graduating this year. It's gonna be good. Okay, sorry about that. All that explanation, but I wanted to, to tell you some things about learning English. And because we, today we're only five now, now that we have bodies here in the class <laughs> because we were only four, right? The people who wants to be here, they are here. And if they are not here, maybe they can't, or maybe they don't want because it's Friday, right? Friday, <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, uh, thank you for sending the date. And I'm gonna show you the video we were watching yesterday, but we were like in a hurry in the last minutes of the class. So I'm gonna play the video again for you so we can recap on the topic we were discussing. And then we're gonna share some regrets or some hypothetical situations based on the video. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. Okay, I want, wait a second. I want to explain something to you here right now. So expressing regret, we're gonna use should. Should, remember, we don't say the letter L, should. We're gonna use should have studied. This is the present perfect to talk about experiences. But in this, in this case, we're gonna talk about experiences that didn't happen, that should have happened. Should have happened. Now, I should have studied English before. Maybe that's something that you're thinking right now. Yeah, if I had studied English before, there would be a problem. Then it's, it says here, I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major, okay? If you see, the structure is the same, but in this case, it's negative, shouldn't. And then the present perfect, have waited. To we'll talk about regret, expressing regret. Then in the second part, we have describing hypothetical situations, things that are 
If this has hap had happened, this thing will happen. So, si esto hubiera pasado, now it estaría pasando esto, like something like that. So, in this case, we're going to use if, because if, do you know the, the use of if? No? Conditionals. Conditional, yes. To talk about something that is not real, but a conditional is you have to have a main clause and then a conditional clause. What will happen if this situation is like that? So we're gonna use conditionals and then we're gonna use the past participle. Again, here is the press, I mean, present perfect and here is the past perfect. Okay, present perfect because it's have and past perfect because it's had. This is the abbreviation of had. Oh. Yeah, had, that's for the past perfect. And obviously it's, the only thing that changes is the, that had. Then the verb needs to go in the past participle as well, had been. So here we're gonna talk about the hypothetical situation and then the result of the hypothetical situation. So the condition and the result. Condition, result. Let's read it. If I had been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. Ah, and also when, okay, these situations like the conditions, I don't know if you remember that you can say it like this or you can say it the other way around. First this statement and second this statement. But if you say the if clause at the beginning, then you have to separate the second statement with a comma, okay? But if you say this statement first, then you don't have to write a comma because the if is a separation. It's a conjunction, conjunction, that's, the call, that, that's what they'll call it, they're called in English. So for example, this sentence here, if I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. I can say it as well. I could have learned another language if I'd been more mm -hmm. ambitious in college. Okay, you can say it both ways. Yeah. Let's go with the next one. If I hadn't, this is negative, but the same structure. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. And here, look at here. In this one, we use could and would as auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, modal verbs, sorry, as modal verbs, and then the verbs, the main verbs that we're talking about. So if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. Again, here, you can say it the other way. I would have my own apartment now if I hadn't wasted so much money last year. Let's continue watching the video. I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know. This is the same thing that I was explaining to you, right? Like subject should have or shouldn't have a plus the past participle. And here, the note that says we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that didn't happen, okay? So the way you should or have to happen. speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If... So this is the rule to talk about the hypothetical situations. The if clause, that is the conditional clause, right? If the subject had, because we're talking about the past perfect, and then the past participle, comma, subject, and you can use could or you can use would, have, would have or could have, and then the past participle. So we're talking about here. The, okay, let's let's go again. In this part, we're gonna use the past perfect, and in this part, we're gonna use the present perfect. 
Okay. The if clause, past perfect. And the result, present perfect. Plus subject, plus had, plus past participle, comma, subject, plus could, or would have, plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. So here it says, these hypothetical situations, what would have happened if the situations would have happened? <laughs> so for example, what would have happened if you'd save money? That's the first one. And what would have happened if you learned English before English will be in capital letter? Sorry about that. If you'd learned English before. So let's try to do them here right now. If I had saved, remember that the if class has the past, past perfect. If I, if I had saved money last year, I would have bought my car. this year. So what is the hypothetical situation here? That if I have saved money, then I would have bought a car this year, but I didn't save the money, now I don't buy a car. Then let's go to the next one. If you'd learned English before, if I had, oh, sorry, if I had learned If I have learned English before, I could be learning, <laughs> but in this case, I'm gonna use another structure. I'm sorry about that. I could be learning French by now. But I didn't, so I'm here. This I, these are my hypothetical situations. If I had saved money last year, I would have bought my car this year. If I had learned English before, I could have been, oh, sorry, yeah, that is true. Have been, it's like this. Sorry, yo me equivoqué. Siempre sigue la misma estructura, pero voy a agregar el ING después. Podría ser aprendido en inglés. Yeah, if I had learned English before, I could have been learning French by now. You see, these are my hypothetical situations. Send now you to the chat, your two hypothetical situations related with this two, okay? Send them to the chat, please.
Yeah, I saw Sirhan that you like to, you, you like the triathlons? Yes. So that, in your profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Marielos. Do you have a visa? That's a hypothetical situation, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm waiting on the other ones. Just Sirhan completed the two exercises. Maria Lopez. Okay, mm. if I had eaten more in the in the in the dinner, I could have. Omitted, just that part is correct. Exercise fullness, not in general. But if I, if I, if I eaten more in dinner, that would be correct. If I eaten more in the dinner, I could have omitted just like that. Oh, wait a second, guys. Give me, give me just one minute, please. And I don't have new answers. So I have only Miguel Marielo Sirhan. Learned English before. I could have gotten a better job by now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Now, you know what? When I was, when I was about to go to college, yeah, my mom will be really like, Yo, Daddy, if she hears me saying this. But <laughs> when I was about to go to college, I was like, I want to study something else. I don't want to study like, to be a teacher. I don't like it. And my mom was like, you should study to be a teacher. You should study English because English, it's going to be really important. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to study English. And I didn't want to study English. Um, and then when I graduated, well, when I graduated at first, I didn't have a job. And I'm a, I'm a person who doesn't like to be quiet or to stay still, stay still. So I start selling in the street because I like to be active. I like to be productive. That's what I like. And then, so I graduated 2017. By 2018, I was working in an academy, only $3 uh, the hour, the hour. It was, and then I only work for some hours, 
just one, only one group. They paid me $50 the month. So $50 a month, it was like, eh. Then I started traveling to San Salvador and I worked at ITCA. And I didn't make a lot of money. Actually, I just made enough money to go to San Salvador, nothing else. I didn't have any, any money left, but I had experience, you know, I had experience. And then I was accumul accumulating experience. Then I got uh, my INSAFOR validation and then all the jobs started coming, started coming, coming, coming. And I have, now I have the public school job. I have a tutoring that I teach Spanish to a girl in the United States. And I have a tutoring of a person, only one person. She pays me to teach her English privately. And I have the two classes online and I have the classes in San Salvador the weekend. So I'm working all the time. If I don't work work, it's because I don't want to, but I could. So English, yes. English will give you a lot of opportunities. That's for sure. Only class, English class. What is it? Only, only English class and Spanish class. Me? Yes. Yeah, only Spanish and English class. Mostly English, but one, Spanish tutoring. Yeah, this girl lives in Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. And I teach Spanish. They pay me to speak Spanish. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, now, you, well, basically only Sirhan, Marielos, Miguel sent the sentence. But right now I'm gonna give you some time to practice. And we're gonna go to breakout rooms to practice the um, this. So you're gonna share with your classmates your hypothetical situations, okay? Because I want you to speak a little bit. We have been mm, not talking that much, only me. <laughs> and that's not correct. Let me see. Yeah, let's go.
Teacher, I have a question. And what happened to the other classmate? Hmm? I have a, a question. Yeah, tell me. For the use the cool and wool, mm -hmm. is only for a hypothetical situation. No, 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 no. In this case, yes, because we're using the could with the present perfect. I could have been, I could have bought, I could have. But could, we use it for, actually could is the pass of can. Okay, so that's one use, you, you can give it to it. And I could, it's only, it's also I have a I have the hypothetical situation, but in the present, like, I could go with you, but also cool, like I'm telling you, is the pass of can. Now, would, it's also like the ia of the words. That's what I like to call it, the ia. So for example, I would like it, me gustaría. I would go, yo iría. But hypothetical situations mm. in the present as well. Okay, yeah, another when when I use cool teacher is for about the, 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 the when I use present perfect. Yeah, when you use could in the present perfect, you're talking about the hypothetical situation in the past and the result that could have happened in the present. Uh, okay. Did you have um, another classmate with you here, guys? Was Boris in this group? Uh, no, I, I don't know, teacher. I, only only Sirha and I. I think Boris was, well. Boris is a, is a ghost for the model, for all the models. Yeah, I, I can see that. He doesn't like to turn on the camera nor the microphone. Only, Not when, you, only when you, you teacher, uh, say something, he speaks. But yeah. In the, in the, in the, Sure, meetings matter, matter. Sirhai, I have always wanted to ask you, in the background, that is your kitchen. Yes. That's a beautiful kitchen you have there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have always said that. Like, it's really it's a, beautiful. Teacher, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's a good design. Yes, yeah, a good design, yeah. yes. Yes, that's what I can see. And that's, that's a baby. <laughs> I like the microwave, like the microwave in the top part. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And what is that, is that in the background? Granito or ceramic? Uh, it's a ceramic uh, simulated granite, and and then and then put this. Wow. Excellent, Sirhan. Excellent. You put some LED, LEDs. Those are LED, LED lights? Uh, LED lights. Did, well, but someone did that, or did you do it? Uh, in, the, in the model, in the pantry. Oh, but you bought it. When you bought it, it had the LED lights. Yes, I bought it. With the LED lights. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. But it's like, what is the material of the kitchen? Uh, the, the top is granite, and uh, the wall and the uh, is a stimulate of granite is a ceramic, mm -hmm. and then our structure is uh, MDF and MDF. MDF. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it's a cool kitchen. I like it. Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Teacher. Yeah. It's yeah. a it's a good it's, it's a good idea. When I finish the course, we will a dinner and say how. <laughs> yes. Uh, no very, very good. Just just <laughs> to go to the kitchen, right? <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to supervise your other classmates, okay? Keep on practicing. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I don't.
I don't finish because uh, I am in the Marriott with my. You year. got married? Okay. With the Marriott. Is, um, I don't finish. Uh, she studied uh, psychology. And psychology? Next, and next, she studied uh, maestria. Is, how do you say? It? Uh, Master, master degree. Master, master 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 degree. Master degree. Teacher. She oh. teaches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ghost. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't watch him. Uh, it's a um, uh, maestry. Uh, I don't master finish degree. my... my master, my, degree. Master, master degree. Master degree. Master degree. Okay. Yeah. Yes, is I I don't finish.
Hi, Marielos. Hi, Milton. How are you? Hey. In this class, I don't listen. I don't listen to you. Ah. Why? But I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, but, but uh, okay. It, it's necessary to practice. Yes. It's, it's, yes. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. teacher. <laughs> so we are only five in this class. If we were in the classroom, I would have said, hey guys, let's go and have something to eat <laughs> because we're only five people right now. And what about the other ones? I don't know where the other ones are. Maybe they are eating. That's why they are not here. They are out dinner, <laughs> in dinner and, and, and having dinner, right? Okay, now just uh, the last point before we go is pronunciation. Uh, when you say like, I should have, uh, waited, for example, I, I should have waited. What do you want to say there? It's a reduction. So instead of saying, I should have waited, you're going to say, I should have. I should have waited. It's going to be a reduction there. So the video is on the platform, but I'm going to show the video. I'm going to play the video for you. And you're going to hear that there's a reduction. And the Hi, to and wrap then up the, this section, we want you have, to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been. Should have been. Should have been. been. So like together, one phrase. I should have been. I should have been. I should have been. Should have been. Should have been. Are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. And in this one here, it says, I could have. I could have. Yeah. Like together, I could have. And here, the reduction is in the letter E. And E is been. If I been, if I been, if I been like that. So the reduction here is because when people are speaking in English, they speak fast, okay? And when they speak fast, they do the reductions in many, in many. And the promotion. Of course. You may complete this. At least in one practice. Time. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. Should have been. If I'd been more ambitious, been, I could have gotten a promotion. Could have. Did you hear the reduction of the pronunciation? So if yes. you say, I yes. should have been, you can say, I should have been, should have, should have, should have, should have, should have been, I should have been, okay? Okay, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for making me a little bit of company because if you weren't here, I would have been, I would have been, I would have been alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. <laughs> Have a good night and good uh, weekend, okay? Good See you on Monday. Night. Happy weekend. Bye. 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 Good morning. Good night. Good night.